What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley here at Camillo's Golf Club. A beautiful day to play golf, and certainly all 2024. Make sure you get your membership here to Camillo's Golf Club, a proud ML Sports Platter sponsor. So behind me is one of the hardest holes, I think, on the golf course. This is a par three. If you're playing from the blues, it plays over 200 yards. If you're playing from the whites, even up at the brown and red tees, you gotta be on the green. You don't wanna be back in here. Really, really difficult place to be to chip down off that hill and then it can go down on the other hill. I just played the hole myself from the whites, got a bogey, missed the putt, shocking. But uh, I parred it many times, I've doubled it many times. It's a very, very difficult hole. Make sure you come play Camillus. A bunch of these awesome championship type holes where every player of every ability caliber, you're gonna be challenged no matter what here at Camillus Golf Club. Quick little bit on the Coyote situation. Super sad to see these guys move, man. I mean, whatever reason, it just hasn't worked out there, right? And this recent thing by the scumbag owner with the, the, the land, the plot of land in Tempe, and then, then that got rejected. Remember, they went through the bankruptcy thing. I mean, Gary Bettman has been back and forth with this Coyotes group for a long, long time. And it's really a sad state of affairs considering how much that area has actually grown the game. Think about it. Austin Matthews, the best goal scorer in the NHL. He might get 70 goals, by the way, tomorrow night in the season finale against uh, Tampa Bay, assuming his head coach shuts his mouth and plays him. But... You know, this is a, a sad state of affairs, in my opinion, with the Coyotes. I mean, you know, they do have really good fans there. They produce a lot of junior players. They've got a lot of guys who have gone on uh, to play in the World Juniors and, 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 and do great things in the NHL. I mean, there's no better player um, right now than Austin Matthews in the NHL. You could argue McKinnon and McDavid for sure. But this second this year, he's as good as anybody because of how many apples he's put in the net. And, um, you know, this Coyotes thing, it's gone up, down, back and forth. You know, can't get land, can't get the land, whatever else. So it looks like they're going to go to Salt Lake City and the owner will have a little bit of a window to try to bring in an expansion team still to that area but I wouldn't trust that owner to do so there's a lot of billions being tossed back and forth literally the NHL is giving him a billion dollars to go move the team the new owners then buy it for a billion and then it's a 1.2 type of a thing a 200 million you know difference in that uh, where it's amazing because I thought Gary Benton was going to say screw you all the way and then they kind of pull him back a little bit they give him another chance it's just been an unbelievable turn of events with this Coyote situation but for whatever reason it's never worked there and I would just re I really hope that if they do expand there that it does work that time because it's not good for the league to keep having this go back and forth up and down and everywhere else in an area where I actually think it could work um, now the Salt Lake City thing is very interesting maybe a new arena comes into play here very soon um you know, the jazz are there and all the rest, but it's it's not a great, great market. You're leaving one of the bigger markets in the U.S., the Phoenix sort of Scottsdale area to go to Salt Lake City. Maybe it'll work. I mean, the West is now unbelievable with hockey. You've got the Kraken succeeding, Vegas succeeding, Colorado has succeeded for a long time since they moved from Quebec. We'll see what happens with this Arizona group moving to Salt Lake City. Get out here to Camillus Golf Club and play all season long the official golf course of the platter.